After the Honest Trailer, check out the educational song we made to help memorize the names of all the That Guy character actors. Christopher McDonald Shooter McGavin is right on the tip of your tongue. But if it's an evil breakfast club principal, that guy's name is Pugly Son. Link in the description below. You've seen Ezra Miller star in bar fights, restraining orders, grooming allegations, felony burglaries, and chokeslam videos. Did you want to fight? Is that the deal? Now, see the film that dares you to wonder what dirt Ezra has on Warner Brothers, because this is basically a confession tape. You should seek the services of a mental health professional. The Justice League is not very good at that part yet. Trust me. The Flash. Before James Gunn reboots the DC Cinematic Universe for the sixth time? Seventh? I lost count. Limp to the finish line with this colossal screw up, all about a colossal screw up. But I am pretty obnoxious. That's burned through directors like the weed on Ezra's ranch, where they found a one year old with a bullet in her mouth, allegedly, and introduces the concept of the multiverse, about 10 years too late to be interesting. He's gonna save the multiverse. Yeah, man. In the multiverse, there are an infinite number of people who know Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Concerning the fate of every single world of our infinite multiverse. The Warner Brothers serververse. That's almost self-aware about how sloppy and stale the concept is. The multiverse, what it is, it's a hot mess. But that won't stop them from using it to defile the corpse of some legends to make a quick buck. It's enough to make you lose faith in humanity. Oh, faith restored. Rare W, humanity. Rare W. What do you do when your star goes on a massive crime spree? Cast them twice. Wait, that can't be right. Three times? What is going on? Barry Allen 1 is a whiny little Thanks for saving me from the sinkhole, Flash. And I'm starving and curly hair girl isn't here and I need to see her and she has a boyfriend. You hear that? That's my stomach. But after his mom is murdered by someone? I guess Barry, who works in a forensic crime lab, didn't bother to check in on that part. He'll reverse time and meet Barry Allen too, where growing up with two parents somehow made him more obnoxious. <laughs> And whiny. Great. Well, you're leaving me, and now this storm's gonna ruin my day. What is this, hell? Now I'm probably gonna have to move. Why is it so cold? It's the Arctic, Barry. Okay, and the space giant and Mistress Murder are our responsibility, too. I was just doing my laundry. You're the one who came and told me that I'm a superhero. What are you doing? Would you stop whining? And gross. It's a bit more loose. It hurts. You know where it hurts? My dick. Okay. Was Grant Gustin that unavailable? I'm a Christopher Plummer. Weird Al? But Barry's not alone. And thank goodness, because two and a half hours of this would be a war crime. You don't stop talking. It's not charming. It's abrasive and exhausting. Michael Keaton is back as a very 71-year-old Batman. This might hurt. When he's not playing the hits with all the enthusiasm of Smash Mouth at a county fair. I'm Batman. How much do you weigh? You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. They're dressing him up like Rosie the Riveter and making him eat shit repeatedly. Eject! <sighs> Which is a weird choice for a film that clearly wants to be a Batman movie instead. They even go full Clooney Tunes at the end. I like that he's banished to the Batman and Robin verse now. That feels earned. Cool party! When Barry forgets that General Zod attacked the day after he got his powers, shift gears into a Supergirl rescue mission. Briefly. <laughs> Sasha Cow comes to save the day, both in the movie and outside of it, since Ezra was presumably locked in the WB Water Tower for the entire press tour. In this brand new take on a Kryptonian, a grim, tortured soul who questions whether humanity is even worth fighting for. Oh, right. Well, this time, Baby Soup's got snuffed out in his crib, so it's even grimmer. The infant did not survive. So strap in for a mostly animated film that looks like it was rendered on a GameCube with the least realistic baby since Clint Eastwood's prop guy took a sick day, featuring monstrous digital stand-ins.
huge balls of ghoulish fan service for 40 year olds, and the first Hollywood action climax set entirely on a Halo 3 map. You know, I'm starting to think all of Warner Brothers is an elaborate tax write off now, like the producers. Under the right circumstances, a producer could make more money with a flop than he could with a hit. Or Infinity Train, or Bad Girl, or Phase 5, or <laughs> Starring. The perks of being a wall facer. Beers, beers, beers. Naked and afraid. Let's do the time warp again. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Something to do with the Flash, I think. Been there, done that. I am Sasha Fierce. Nap before Zod. What exactly would you say it is you do here? E2 Mama, I'm dead. West Side Story. Superman, the quest to rest in peace. Face looks off. Galga cameo. Curry worst. And this is what a $200 million movie looks like now, I guess. The Flop. If three Flashes, three Batman, four Kryptonians, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman can drive ticket sales, Warner Brothers is going to need a new hero to save the box office. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Bingo. Thanks for watching. And if you've made it this far, why not keep the party going with our musical guide to all the best That Guy character actors. Click the thumbnail on the right to watch now. Spine, spine, spine. I am skipping with your spine. I'm just Ken, and I'm enough, and I'm great at doing stuff. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. I am Batman! <laughs>